Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie, and these are some of the best bottles by state from our recent road trip. Well, we're overdue on this one by quite a few months, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So in late 2021, many of you uh, followed along on our adventures as we took 50 days on the road. We went 7,500 miles around this country, and we didn't pick up whiskey in every state that we went through. There were some that we found whiskeys in that we weren't all that fond of, and so we're gonna ask you at the end of this video to recommend some from those states. We are gonna go state by state from that road trip to tell you about our favorites from each state, and the shocking thing here is that we agreed on every single one of these, and we are going to start not with Oregon, not with Idaho. Nope. Not with Montana. Oh, right. But in all places, Wyoming. So funny story to kick this one off. We needed fuel. I ran inside the gas station. I come back out, no fill. I jump in the van, I look up and I see liquor store. Big bold letters right next to the gas station. I thought that's probably where it's at. I'm pretty easy to find <laughs> generally. And this is not just a great whiskey, but it is actually my biggest surprise of the trip. We almost did an entire video on this whiskey and we might do it yet. This is Wyoming Whiskey's Thunder Basin Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And this stuff, it is super unique. We got it for about $70. Norman's in love with the smell of he it. He likes it already. 12 barrel batch, seven years aged, $70. We've had a couple Wyoming whiskeys before. We've never had anything like this. The mm -hmm. flavors are huge. And of course we were traveling through Thunder, Thunder Basin, Basin, Wyoming. And uh, I popped into this little liquor store at a gas station. The ladies behind the counter were some of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life, of course. And I said, I'm looking for a Wyoming specific whiskey, something from Wyoming. They start pulling out whiskeys from all over the place. There's a lot more than I expected. And I spotted this one on the bottom shelf down in the corner. I'm, maybe they'd forgotten about it. I don't know, but it's awesome whiskey. I'm in love with it. We were going to make a video called the best whiskey you've probably never had and introduce <laughs> this whiskey. We figured there's probably a whole lot of other really good whiskeys yeah. you've probably never had, but it doesn't change the fact this is a great whiskey. We've been savoring this bottle and we're trying to drink it slowly because I'm not sure we'll ever see it again, but we did get to give a few friends and family a little sample along the way. Nobody has said that they haven't loved it yet. Yeah. No surprise, great whiskey. So next up, we were visiting some friends in Colorado. We went out for some delicious barbecue, having a great time, and lo and behold, Leopold Brothers. This five year aged bottled and bond from Leopold Brothers is absolutely awesome. The one thing that you always hear about from Leopold is their three chamber rye. Now they've collaborated with Dickel to make this new rye that's supposed to be amazing that we're supposed to see <laughs> in the next couple of days here in Oregon. Uh, but this is just a fantastic whiskey. And yeah, we tried it at a barbecue shop, got a sample of it, fell in love with it, had to hunt it down. <laughs> and it wasn't easy to find. This is a $70 bottle. That's at least what we paid for it. One of the more unique whiskeys out there. The flavors are enormous. A bottle and bond, a lot of times we're looking on the bottom shelf saying, okay, let's get the cheapest one possible. <laughs> this one's a little bit on the pricey side, but it is absolutely delicious. And that five years aging just brings so much flavor to the table. And if you haven't seen five things we love about Denver, check it out. We'll link it below. So we motored through Nebraska and Iowa pretty quickly. We were anxious to see some more friends in Wisconsin. And so we want to do an honorable mention because we actually drank the bottle that we were going to feature today. Right, yeah, it wasn't our absolute favorite bottle, but it was quite good and it was from Driftless Glen. Five years age, it was a single barrel. It was very good. And we also tried a cask strength version or barrel strength version. Ooh, of I liked that one. That one was really, <laughs> really good, but the reason we were heading across the country to begin with is because Julie was running the Chicago Marathon. And I finished it. Not fast, but it was done. Hey, and <laughs> while she was doing that, I was running a marathon of trying to find the best Illinois whiskey I possibly could. It led me to DeKalb, Illinois, Whiskey Acres. We've talked about this bottle once or twice already on the yep. channel. This is a single barrel from Benny's huge flavors. I miss Benny's. I do too. I know. It's a great store. Oh, well. Great chain. This is a weeded bourbon, which I just learned the other day because I finally took the time to read the side of the bottle. <laughs> it tastes so much like brown sugar coated candy corns. It's super weird, but I talk about this bottle a lot. And whenever I do, I mention that tasting note and everybody thinks it's bizarre, but 
It's actually really, really tasty. And it's pretty impressive because you're not a weeded fan. No, that but actually- you do really like this one. Right, yeah, it makes me like it even <laughs> more, the fact that I actually prefer this over some other Illinois whiskeys that we've tried. Blom Brothers gets an honorable mention. They make really good whiskey, especially their rye. But for me, this Whiskey Acres bottle is the best thing that I tasted in Illinois. Next up, we're off to Indiana. Where we spent a lot of time and a lot of money on whiskey. And uh, we had a couple of favorites there. A lot of favorites, actually. Yeah. Indiana, probably the biggest surprise for whiskey on our entire trip. And I don't know why it was a surprise. We love MGP, all that kind of stuff, but. But we didn't know that they were doing so many great craft distilled whiskeys. And this one here from Spirits of French Lick. It's a single barrel from Holiday Liquors, Cedar Lake, Indiana. My brother actually picked this one up for yeah. us because I'm pretty sure they didn't even have it in stock by the time we showed up. 111 proof, beautiful single barrel. This is such a good whiskey. And everything we tried from Spirits of French Lick was fantastic, which everything we'd heard about it was fantastic. So we weren't too surprised. Uh, special shout out though, Old 55, we got a single barrel from Lake Lakers in Indiana that was also absolutely amazing. That's yeah. a bottled and bond single barrel. That is not something we see all the time. Nope. Fantastic whiskey. We had a bottle of Remus, a single barrel that we also got from Lake Lakers. That is almost gone as no, well. No, it's gone. It's over there. I finished it last night. Oh. It's gone. <laughs> but this Spirits French Lick, this Lee W. Sinclair bottle, it's a four grain. What I love about it is that the fourth grain is not rye, it's oats. Yeah. Smooth, smooth, smooth. The smoothest mouthfeel I think I've ever experienced on a whiskey. It's just amazing. And I think it was one of the brands that we were most anxious to try on yeah. a road trip. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and I almost forgot one other Indiana distillery that I, I completely forgot to mention. Starlight. Oh, oh wonderful. Man, fantastic. They're double oak dry and they're double oak bourbon. Absolutely fantastic stuff that we're in love with. This bottle though, something special about it. Next level. That was the best bottle that we got in Indiana. And next up, another state we spent a whole lot of money in. And was worth it. <laughs> if you know the US map, you know we were onto the promised land, <laughs> Kentucky. <laughs> Absolutely, and this bottle here is the biggest splurge of our whiskey lives. Lives. Ever. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and the thing is, the, the crazy thing about Bardstown is we weren't even going to go to Bardstown Distillery mm -hmm. while we were in Kentucky. We were kind of running out of time and we were heading south and we had kind of just a couple hours to get to our next destination. We were passing by and we thought, what are all these rick houses over here? They're amazing. They look so modern and beautiful. And then we see this huge facility that also looks great and realize it's Bardstown. Pull over immediately. <laughs> Go to Bardstown. It is absolutely beautiful. The place is stunning. The layout, everything about it. It's just amazing. They have this great bar where you can try all these different fantastic whiskeys. You actually got to try Old Forester birthday bourbon there. Yes, I did. <laughs> This bottle here though was extra special. We tasted it because we didn't expect to buy this bottle because of the price. The flavors were absolutely huge. We liked it so much better than everything else that we tried that day. So we met a nice couple at the bar. They overheard that we ordered this and the Fusion because we were hoping we'd like the Fusion more because it was considerably less considerably. money. Did the tasting. They asked if we liked it and we were both like, we really didn't want to like this one. And yet here we are $200 later. <laughs> Oh mama, get ready to see Phil gush and blush. We're on to Nashville. Yeah, this is gonna be uncomfortable for everybody and I'm sorry. <laughs> we got to Nashville and we went almost directly to Nashville Barrel because we'd heard so many good things about it. Meredith there gave us the best tasting of the entire trip and really the entire year for us. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely awesome. The rye was great. The bourbon was great. And then this next single barrel that was chosen by the Nashville Bourbon Social Club, which was introduced to us by Stuff and Whiskey. Whiskey. Of course, we also got to have a drink with them and spend an evening with them, which was amazing. We tried so many great things. We shared so many whiskeys together, but the greatest thing to come out of Nashville besides that nice friendship and relationship now, Nashville Barrel. This whiskey is absolutely amazing. And we actually, when we were talking about which whiskey we were gonna choose for Tennessee, we were kind of leaning toward Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. But we only got to try one thing from Chattanooga, the 111. And as good as it is, we tried several things from Nashville Barrel. We loved them all. We sure did. And besides leaving Makers with three bottles, this is the only other place that we left with three bottles. And it is pricey there but worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Everything that we bought there was between $70 and $100 per bottle, but absolutely special whiskey. 
the type of thing that we share with friends. Again, you can see we haven't gone through much of it. The other two bottles that we tasted and bought aren't even open yet. Yeah. That's how much we liked Nashville Barrel. We think it's a special brand. It's MGP stuff that gets aged for everything that we got anyways, five or more years. And fantastic, huge flavors. If you're in Nashville and you have the opportunity to go there, do the tasting and you know, buy the thing that you like because it's all so good. And we're still hoping that we'll get it in Oregon someday. Someday. Leaving one YouTube channel, we met up with another YouTube channel in Arkansas of all places. We got to hang out with Trevor from the Bourbon Ranch and he introduced us to Rocktown Distillery. And we had a great time hanging out with Trev and we got to try a bunch of his favorite whiskeys from his favorite local distillery and it did not disappoint. And this is the bottle that I think is fantastic. Julie actually has a different favorite bottle from the same distillery. Same distillery, but I think you should try the Bottled and Bond. It is definitely more accessible and the flavors are fantastic in that Bottled and Bond bottle. They, they make a ton of different things. They've got a chocolate malted bourbon that has jalapeno it, flavors in it. Mm, sweet jalapeno. It's, yeah. They make a lot of great stuff with a lot of huge flavors. I don't think that there's anybody that would say that they like 100% of the things at that <laughs> distillery because the flavors are so enormous, but you're going to find something that you like there flavor-wise. This one is the one that spoke to me. This is their single barrel, barrel strength. And by the way, this is another weeded bourbon. Since when do I like weeded bourbons? I have no idea. Maybe on road trips. Maybe on road trips. Absolutely stunningly huge flavors. This is the one in our advent tournament that I chose over Weller foolproof. Yeah. I thought that the flavors were more exciting, more interesting, and there was more to dive into. I think that this distillery is poised to do a lot of really big things in the near future. I can't wait to get back there and see what they come up with next. Hi, Trev. <laughs> Stick with us. We have two states to go, and this is a big one. The biggest state indeed. <laughs> And this is actually the only bottle that we tried there. This is still Austin, the musician. We were actually recognized when we were buying this bottle. It was so funny. It was crazy. <laughs> Nobody ever recognizes us, but we thought that was pretty cool. This one's aged for a minimum of just two years. Which is bonkers considering the flavors you get out of this baby. It's gotta be something about Texas and the heat and the warehouses and how things are done down there. I don't know but huge flavors, delicious flavors, drinks so nice. We did an entire video on this one when we were in New Mexico, so if you haven't seen it, you can go back and revisit that one. We'll put a link in here. But this bottle, absolutely delicious, flavorful, costs about $40 for us and well worth the money, I think. Yeah, and this also was one of the ones we were hoping to get. We do not get Still Austin here in Oregon. Mm -hmm. That was a nice pickup. Absolutely. We understand that you can actually order this one online. And by the way, it is the only Texas whiskey that we got to try. We had to hustle through that state. We were in a hurry. And so we found this bottle and got Picked out. Picked it up. <laughs> so we're going to be circling back to Texas real soon. So if you're in Texas or you know of a great distillery in Texas, let us know so we can visit next time we come through. So the last state that we picked up a bottle in before we were heading home, Nevada. It's always bittersweet to return home, but when you find a bottle this good, it's not so bad. <laughs> Smoke Wagon, small batch, 100 proof. Had no idea it was going to be this good. Actually thought we were going to get the uncut unfiltered. Grab the wrong bottle. Happy mistake. Happy accident. I can't believe how good this bottle is. This was my bottle of the year, co-bottle of the year with Julie's uncut unfiltered Smoke Wagon. Beautiful bottle, beautiful product, absolutely fantastic. And we're already planning to visit there in the spring, hopefully to do a tour and tasting and do a video of it. We just love this stuff. We can't wait to get back down there. And what a way to finish. This list was great. And now it's even more great. I know. I love everything that we've talked about today. Yeah, congratulations to us. <laughs> Are you ready for a pop quiz? I certainly am. Name the state that each of these bottles came from. We got Wyoming, Colorado, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Texas, and Nevada. Look How'd at I you. Do? Unbelievable. The geography of whiskey, and she's a big winner, and I feel like I'm a big winner too. Well, there you have it. If you are from one of the states that we visited and you don't see your favorite whiskey on the table, let us know what it is. We are missing out, actually, from California. We didn't spend enough time there to find anything local, so all of those states on that list, if you live there or if you visited there, or if you have a favorite whiskey that we left off, let us know. We're gonna be traveling a lot this year, hitting as many of these local distilleries as we can. We especially love green to glass stuff, so if you've got any leads on that for us, please let us know. Well, this was a good trip down memory lane. I can't wait to go out this year and make some more memories. And from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Maybe we'll see you on the road. Or down the road. We don't want to see anybody on the road. <laughs>